Um, another tragic story, this one out of Tennessee involving a baby, 15-month-old baby Evelyn who went missing. Uh, took a while for the reporting of baby Evelyn gone missing. Eventually, her remains were found. But as we sit here tonight, still no one has been charged in her death. Seema Iyer has more tonight. The grandmother of slain toddler Evelyn Boswell has been arrested again. Angela Boswell allegedly broke into her father's mobile home on Wednesday, March 25th. Police say surveillance video at her dad's house show Boswell and her companion, Larry Chad Fields, entering and leaving with items that were later reported stolen. Um, according to um, the warrants, it would appear that Angela Boswell has a meth problem um, and uh, she broke, she's accused of breaking into her father's home, uh, stealing guns and other property. The assumption is that that property was going to be sold for drug money. Questions surround Angela Boswell after her daughter claimed she was taking care of baby Evelyn when she went missing. Boswell, seen here in a North Carolina courtroom, has had several run-ins with the law since she was first picked up for possession of stolen property in February. This latest arrest only adds to the mystery surrounding baby Evelyn's death. This evening, we received information that led TBI agents and Sullivan County detectives to a property belonging to a family member of Evelyn's mother. The toddler's remains were discovered last month in a shed on the property of her grandfather, Tommy Boswell Sr. He reported her missing February 18th and told investigators he hadn't seen the little girl since Thanksgiving. Tommy hasn't really explained his delay in reporting it. What he told law enforcement was that at some point, Megan had left his home with Evelyn, um, that his mother, uh, Evelyn's great-grandmother, had babysitted the child for a little bit, um, but then that Megan left with the child, and then he later starts asking questions about where the child is, and couldn't get a straight answer from either Megan or uh, his ex-wife, Angela. That revelation set off an intensive 17-day search for baby Evelyn. And curiously, her mother, Megan Boswell, was of little help, allegedly lying to law enforcement about her daughter's whereabouts. I was trying to protect my mom, maybe in hopes, oh, well, she just tell them where Evelyn was, but obviously she's not going to. It was a tip that helped police recover baby Evelyn's body on March 6th. During the search, investigators discovered human remains believed to be those of a 15-month-old girl. She was dressed in a pink tracksuit and pink shoes, the same clothes she was last seen wearing. Evelyn's mother was charged with making false reports to investigators, and grandmother Angela is being held on drug and aggravated burglary charges. The police have not named any suspects, and no one has been charged in connection with the baby's death. This is a frustrating case on many levels uh, for that little baby. I mean, you're stuck in the middle of all that mess that is going on. But ultimately, she was found on her family's property. So that's where investigators have to be uh, looking first. Let's bring in Seema Iyer, who joins us tonight. Seema, let's begin. Let's, let's go through the whole family here. Let's begin sure. with mom. Uh, she's still locked up, right? Megan is locked up. Grandmother Angela is also locked up. And when you just mentioned property, Vinny, that's a really important part of this story because it's more than property. This is a compound that, according to Jamie Satterfield of KnoxNews.com, you know, she was in that piece, and we've had her on Court TV before. She's just the best of the best when it comes to legal journalists. And she is saying that everybody lived on this compound. So you have Megan and Tommy Jr., the, the kids, okay? And then you have Angela and Tommy Sr. And then you, according to what Jamie said, there may be other relatives that come and go because it's a really big piece of property. But there's absolutely a split here in, in this family, right? Because grandma and grandpa aren't together anymore, right? And didn't grandpa got in trouble once for, I think, yes. trying to run over or beat up someone that was sleeping okay. with grandma? Okay, Be before we go on, okay, this entire family is are, are the poster children to not procreate, okay? They're all horrible. Tommy Sr. took Tommy Jr., his son, to go... I guess, beat up some guy that was fooling around with his wife, Angela. 
Yeah. It, 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 and now grandma is in, in jail, but these charges have nothing to do with baby Evelyn. That, um, right. But Megan can't get out. And, and, and I know Jamie Satterfield talked about that. Let's take a listen. Okay. Megan uh, is in jail on a false charge report, and that's essentially for lying to the cops about where Evelyn was and when she went missing. That charge has not been upgraded. Uh, certainly uh, comments from the district attorney indicate that at some point they're going to take this case to a grand jury. Tennessee is currently in a state of judicial emergency because of coronavirus. We are not able at this point to have grand jury proceedings, so it could be a matter of months before we see new developments in this case. The judge increased her bond. It was fairly low, and then once the remains were discovered, the judge increased the bond to, I think, about $150,000. But, but honestly, it could be $15,000, and, and Megan can't make it. Um, the only person in that family right now with money is Tommy Sr., and there's been no indication that he intends to make Megan's bond. So, Vinny. And, and Seema, yeah, Jamie Sat Satterfield, who you spoke to, she was on that property, right? She was on the compound. Oh, you are not going to believe how gutsy Jamie Satterfield is. Okay, so the child is reported missing February 18th. A few days after that, Jamie Satterfield decides to go to the property, and I guess it's open. It is. I think she describes it as being gated, but it's open, and she's, she walks around, and she sees, you know, it's a vast, sprawling property. She sees evidence of a child having lived there, for instance, uh, dolls, toys, etc., and then... She she is confronted by Tommy Sr. and Tommy Jr. And they basically threaten her. Now, what she tells us, which is very interesting, is that the time that they were confronting her, she was standing near the shed. That is the shed that on March 6th, baby Evelyn was discovered in. Inside that shed, also dolls, toys, etc. cetera. Uh, so then they basically run her off the property. Uh, she says, go ahead call 911 and they call 911 to report her for dispatch which which I which I was surprised about because if they they clearly were not scared to call 911 when she was standing right there but this was the confrontation and so she told us that after the body was discovered then she realized what she did was quite dangerous yeah, <laughs> pretty uh, pretty dangerous, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the other part of this about the, Tommy Sr., though, Grandpa, he's the only one who reported the child missing to authorities. He's the one that picked up the phone. Okay, but why? She, she He hadn't seen her since Thanksgiving. February 18th, uh, please, Vinny, not a hero here, okay? Because I think perhaps it is But possible. somebody called. Hold, hold on. For, Vinny. We don't, we don't even know how long this child uh, has, was, has been dead, right? And he called February 18th. Why did he finally call? Was it in retaliation for Angela or Megan or something? And by the way, Tommy Sr. is the only one with money. Why isn't Tommy Sr. bailing out his kid, Megan? It doesn't make any sense. Also, Jamie Satterfield told us that Angela, for some reason, always makes bail. So who's paying her bail? Something is up with this family. She's always got a new boyfriend. She always has a new boyfriend. Always. She, she, this is like, I've been covering the story for a month and a half. She's had two boyfriends already. Well, that's admirable. All right, Seema, Jamie Satterfield's interview. We're going to show it in long form Good. coming up next.